Hi, come on in. Come on into the living room. This room is painted what the painter called Quinn Rose, as I mixed it myself. That shell was brought to us when we lived in Japan in Sasebo from a monk who had been in Nagasaki when it was bombed. So there it is, and um, I hope it's not radioactive. <laughs> This is a first edition of Scott Fitzgerald's Tender is the Night. This is the dining room, and I love the wallpaper in here so much. There's not a single bird that's duplicated in the whole wallpaper. And it's got gold underneath so that it shimmers at night and makes everybody look beautiful. Welcome to the library. This house was built when George Washington was president. At one point, uh, Robert Todd Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln's son, lived here. Over here, you can see a New Yorker cover of this house that was actually done by a friend of ours. And in the powder room, this was from the National Archives, and it's Haldeman taking dictation from Richard Nixon. And it says, Never invite Sally Quinn, violated rules and attacked a guest at church. I was covering a church service that Nixon had at, at the White House, and we were not supposed to interview the guests, and I actually spoke to one of the guests, and I guess that's what he means by I attacked a guest at church. <laughs> I have four Andy Warhol collages of me and two oil paintings. They were commissioned by the Washingtonian Magazine when they did a cover story on me. And I learned about the collages and the other painting uh, shortly after Andy Warhol died, which was about six months after he did these. And so I called up the Warhol studio and said I'd love to buy them, all of them. <laughs> In the summer, we spend a lot of time on the back porch. There's the garden, which leads down to the swimming pool and then to the tennis court and a pool house. A lot of memories connected with this house. And I'm so glad you were able to join us today.